no puedo para siempre, que aunque pongo que no sé, como hay en periplaza que hacen gran tráfico aquí. Ah, sí, me imagino. Sí, Ahí, cabal. Sí. Ahí es bien bonito. Ahí yo he ido hace poco y veo de que hay, eh, el de Plaza Mundo está bien bonito. Solo que no entiendo, bien, solo pasando. No, no, yo nunca, una vez he ido, va a creer. Ah, de verdad. Yo sé es que, que me me casi, Es que casi no me gusta salir. Ah, Más que bueno. con niño. Tengo un niño que está chiquito, dos años y medio. ¿sí? Ah. No me gusta sacarlo casi. Ajá. Ay, entonces sí, no. Sí. A veces uno llega un tiempo que ya no quiere salir. Ya le he dado usted. No, sí, es que yo siempre iba así. Siempre ah, de iba verdad así. no sale. Sí, nunca me ha gustado salir. Ay, ¿por qué? Pero es que así es mi mamá también. Ah, <risa> mi mamá no. Mi mamá sí le gusta salir. Mi Pero... papá lo contrario. Mi papá no lo paga, no quiere <risa> No, mi, mi familia... La mayoría sí le gusta salir. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, good afternoon. Good. How are you doing? Good afternoon. Fine. I, I'm listening to your conversation. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. You know what? You can start using Spanglish. Pueden usar Spanglish. <laughs> Las palabras que ya se saben, my father, my mother, you know, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So okay. you can use them. Yeah. Hay que familiarizarnos un poco. Yes, por eso se llama Spanglish para comenzar. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sí, thank you, thank you. Estábamos practicando aquí con, con Abigail de que nos está acosando lo de si está watching TV, no, lo, no, a mí no me lo agarra. Ni si oh, ni Poppy. Ok, nada, ok. Uh -huh. Hay varios que no nos agarran. Sí, ya intentamos y nada. ¿sí? Ok, ok. Ahorita yo voy a revisar nuevamente. Me voy a colocar donde. donde uh, ok. 5.12, creo que es punto 5.12. Es que ya está más adelante, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, ese Mira. todavía no hemos llegado nosotros. Ok, wow. permítanme entonces. De activity. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Es, um, a ver, permítanme un segundito que está cargando. Ok, ahorita está cargando esto. Is it raining? The sound is as if it is raining. Estaba lloviendo por algún lado. Sí, aquí. Está cayendo una buena también. Seriously? Hey, where are you located? ¿De, de dónde está conectada? De Apopa. Oh, it's close. It's close. All right. It's sí. near. It's near. Ajá. Vamos a ver. ¿Alguien uh, también está bajo la lluvia por ahí? Le voy a poner silencio mejor. Ok. Ok. Ok, then. We are starting the class. Ok, I see everybody. Uh -huh. Carlos, hello, hello. Juan. Hi, teacher. Hi, Eunice again. Geraldina, we miss you yesterday. Uh -huh. Okay, Daniela, very Hi, good. Teacher. All right. Well, my mm, my platform still loading, guys. Todavía está cargando para revisar esa. Mientras carga, vamos a comenzar, okay? Y después vemos lo de la tarea. Está bien. It's okay, teacher. All right. Well, let's remember what was the last class about. Veamos de qué fue nuestra clase anterior. Do you remember? About the clothes and the seasons. All right, the seasons. And do you remember what seasons do they exist? ¿Cuáles son las cuatro estaciones? Summer. Uh -huh. Yo summer, I know. Summer, fall. Uh -huh. oh my God. Soon and winter. 
no, no. Okay. Spring uh -huh. and winter. All right. Uh huh. One second, one second, because this is still showing me. Okay, it says the knowledge check. And uh, one second, one second. I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. All right. So uh, Eduardo was saying summer, winter, mm -hmm, and spring and fall. fall. So they are four. Mm, what seasons are there in El Salvador? Do we have the four seasons? No. Uh, so There's two, two seasons. seasons. They are only two seasons, right? The dry and the wet season. Oh. Remember? Uh huh. We could say dry and rainy too, or we could say summer and winter. All right. So it's okay. You can use any. Mm -hmm. Estoy tratando de que me cargue esto normal. Lo, eh, lo vamos a ver dentro de un momentito para que cargue todo. Ok. Ok, okay then. Uh -huh. Vamos entonces a continuar eh, con esto de las estaciones. Seasons, right? Remember, dry season and rainy season. Dry season and rainy season. So summer and winter. Remember November to April and from May to October is the rainy season, all right? Okay, guys. Well, we were saying that to express things that are happening at the time we are speaking, we use the present continuous tense. Remember, present continuous tense. Okay, then let's start with that. Let's start with that. All right, here we can see different things. This is the to be verb, all right? With this one, the yellow ones are the to be verb conjugation. And we have some verbs. What is a verb? It's a word that expresses action or passion, okay? Or a state too. So we could say, this is a verb. This is another verb. This is another verb. Different verb and different verb. All right. ¿Cuál sería el verbo en tiempo presente acá? Where? Where, exactly, where. where. Pero le agregamos ING para, where? exacto, para que diga ando, endo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, where significa usar, ¿verdad? O ponerse, tener puesto, ¿verdad? Pero where, where, es usar. Entonces, si le agregamos ING, ya no dice usar, dice usando, ¿verdad? Okay. Pero dice usando si... Antes de este verbo va el verbo to be, ¿ok? Ahí sí dice ando, ando, ¿ok? Entonces, podría ser, I am wearing an orange blouse or an orange shirt, all right? Yeah. Right now, right now. Or today, right? I am wearing mm, gray pants, all right? I am wearing black shoes. I am wearing my brown glasses. Okay, so now let's look at this. What are you wearing, Geraldina? What are you wearing right now? No me oye, Geraldina, all right? Uh, Carlos Eduardo, what are you wearing right now? Okay, I am wearing um, my brown glasses. Mm -hmm. I am wearing uh, shorts. Um, 
I am wearing, ah, okay, sería, I am wearing my blue shorts. All right. I am wearing my uh, gray t-shirt. All right, very good, very good. Ahora, tenemos otros verbos, ¿verdad? Son una infinidad de acciones que podemos decir, por ejemplo, washing, el verbo en tiempo presente es wash, ¿ok? Wash es lavar, ¿verdad? Washing es lavando si antes va el verbo to be. For example, she is washing the clothes. Hay una frase para decir eso, ¿ok? Hay una frase para decir washing clothes. Se llama doing laundry, ¿ok? Doing laundry. Pero para efectos de ver en la clase del día de hoy lo vamos a estar diciendo I am washing the clothes. Pero en realidad eso se puede decir en una frase coloquial, digamos, así, ya establecida. Doing laundry, ¿ok? Doing laundry. Es washing the clothes. Okay. Y para decir lavar los trastos, ¿cómo sería? A ver, ¿alguien conoce? Wash the dishes. Excellent. Uh -huh. Wash the dishes. Uh -huh. Y por ejemplo, usted está lavando. Sí, solo lavando. Entonces yo puedo decir doing the washing up. Okay. Estas son frases ya establecidas, ¿verdad? Pero si se fijan, va el ING, ¿verdad? Va el ING, miren. Por ejemplo, I am washing the dishes, all right? I am washing the dishes. I am washing my husband's clothes. Ahora, mending, ¿qué significará mending? No significa mendigar, no significa mendigar. Vamos a ver, ¿qué significa mending? Do you know? To fix your clothes, okay? Sewing or knitting or uh, repairing, right? Adding things or parts that are missing. For example, replacing a button, yeah? Es como, es como, es como arreglar o reparar o yes. algo así, ¿no? Yes, arreglar la ropa, exacto. Pero arreglarla de que está... Eh, con una falla, ¿verdad? Digamos, está rota, está, eh, le falta un botón. So, I mend my clothes. So, I am mending my clothes, okay? Mm -hmm. So, we can use this ing at the time, when the action is happening at the time that I'm speaking, all right? At the time that I'm speaking. So, I say this, and this very moment is happening, all right? For example, it is raining in Normous City, all right? It is raining in Normous City. Right now, it is raining in Apopa, right? Yeah. It is snowing in Canada, right? Maybe, we don't know, we don't know, but it is snowing in Alaska for sure, right? For sure, <laughs> yeah? So. We could say these verbs when we want to express the thing or the action that is happening at the same time that I'm speaking, all right? A ver, when do I use the present continuous? Cuando yo uso el presente continuo, a ver. When we do in actions. All right. Mm -hmm. But you want to express that action at the same time that you are saying it. All right. In the same very moment. The moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the important part. All right. What happened if I am not doing that in that moment? Okay. Then I add the particle not. Y se cumple la misma regla para el verbo to be cuando lo hacemos negativo. For example, podemos decir, I am not wearing a t-shirt, right? I am not wearing a t-shirt. Okay. Mm, he is not wearing a suit, all right? 
Um, Geraldina is not washing the dishes, all right? Uh, Norma is not doing laundry. Norma is not mending her clothes, all right? So we can use this for things that are not happening, all right? For things that are not happening when I'm speaking, all right? For example, if it is not raining, we say, it is not raining. It is not snowing. All right. El not siempre cumple la función, acordémonos, como el verbo to be. All right. Like this. It is not. Y se puede también contractar, ¿verdad? Se puede usar he isn't wearing, he, or he's not wearing también. Recuerdan eso, ¿verdad? Bien. Yeah. Vamos a ver entonces la otra parte, porque cuando nosotros queremos hacer preguntas, when we want to ask for things that are happening at the same moment that I'm speaking, then I use these structure, all right? For example, Blanca, are you wearing a uniform? Are you wearing a uniform? Yes. I am wearing. Uh, I think you are not wearing a uniform. Blanca? <laughs> sí. <laughs> okay. Are you wearing a uniform? The answer is no. here. No, I am not. Not, I am not. Exactly. Vamos a ver. Um, Vamos a ver. Daniela, are you washing your husband's pants? Actually, I don't have a husband. I'm not married, teacher. <laughs> All right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this is imagining. Okay, imagining. Okay. So, yes, I am. If it is a positive answer. All right. Mm -hmm. Fíjense bien que estamos usando respuestas cortas. Miren, short answers. Short answers. Claro que podemos usar una respuesta larga. ¿Cómo sería una respuesta larga? A ver, help me here. Yes, I am your husband pants. Ok, por ejemplo, si, ajá, exactly. Yes, I am. Ok, o solamente yes, coma, I am washing my husband pants. Yes. Uh -huh. Washing my husband's. What's going on? Husband's pants. All right. Here we go. Hmm? Yes, I'm washing my husband's pants. Yo puedo contestar con una oración completa. Y por el momento quizás nos hace más fácil dar una oración completa pensando en practicar, ¿verdad?, el, el lenguaje. Entonces, si me están preguntando, uso la misma información de la pregunta para poder armar mi respuesta, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. yo digo, yes, I am washing my husband's pants. Y lo mismo vamos a hacer siempre que nos hagan una pregunta, ¿verdad? Vamos a usar la misma información que hay en la pregunta, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Con la primera, are you wearing a uniform? Si yo le digo una respuesta larga sería, no. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Wearing a uniform. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, I am not wearing a uniform. Excellent. Mm -hmm. A ver, la siguiente pregunta. Is it raining today? Is it raining today? No, it isn't, at least not yeah. in my city, right? But uh, we could say this in a long answer. A ver, hagamos una oración completa acá. No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. No, it isn't. Okay. Vemos, podemos contestar con una respuesta corta. 
como esta, como esta y como esta. Podemos contestar con una respuesta larga como esta, como esta y como esta. ¿Ok? Bien. Vamos a ver entonces. Yo les voy a hacer unas preguntas y ustedes las van a ir contestando de acuerdo a lo que miran. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, teacher. Right. Mm -hmm. No, no, she is. Mm -hmm. No, she is. Ok, vamos a ver. No, she is in wedding. For my clothes. Excellent. Short answer and long answer. Very well done. All right, let's continue. Yes, they are wearing yes, they are. clothes. Very good. Yes, they are wearing formal clothes. Y en una respuesta corta sería yes, yes they, they are. are. They are excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Se tarda en cargar esto. Fíjense en pasarlo. A ver, esta es una palabra que quizás algunos no conocen. Apron. Apron. Apron is this. Right. Es delantal. Yes. That's an apron. All right. She, yes, she is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is wearing we an apron. apron. Oh. Yes, he's wearing an apron. Excellent. And a short answer, yes, he is. All right. También podríamos usar el nombre, ¿verdad? Decir, yes, Jonathan is. All right. Pero es mejor, Jonathan, I mean, he is. Shorter, right? Más corto. Okay, let's read this one. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Yes, she's wearing yes, she's wearing yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, she is in a short answer. In a long answer? Yes. I'm wearing socks. Okay. Yes. My aunt. My is aunt wearing is wearing socks. socks. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. Next one. No, they, no, they're not. No, they are. Mm -hmm. The student wearing sweater. Excellent. Very good. So, no, the student aren't wearing sweaters. All right. And the short answer will be? No, no, they're no not. they aren't. Okay, we can use both. No, they are not. No, they aren't. All right, it's okay. Hmm? Or they are not, too. All right. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Imagínense que a ustedes les pasa eso. Imagínense ustedes y llega alguien por ahí les pregunta, is it raining? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo uh, le contestarían? Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Yo le diría, it's raining. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Imagínense. Is he wearing a raincoat? No, he does. No, he isn't. He no, he isn't. isn't. Yes, he's not wearing a raincoat. What is he wearing? Uh -huh. He is wearing a chair. Uh -huh. A hat. All right. Square shirt and a hat. Mm -hmm. And 
I don't know if it's a um, skirt or it seems like an apron. It seems like uh -huh. an apron. He is doing gardening or something. Yeah. So yeah, it seems like this is an apron. All right. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So um, this is because we learned that word today. All right. And then the last one. I think this is the last one. Yeah, they are washing the clothes. Are they washing their clothes? Um, no, they are not. <laughs> They're playing. Yeah, I think uh, no. <laughs> uh -huh. They're playing. They're right. playing. Yes, they are wasting time. <laughs> Están perdiendo el tiempo, right? They are yes. wasting time. Yeah. Okay. Wasting time is perder el tiempo. Okay. Wasting time. Se los escribo por acá para que lo vean. Vamos a ver. Wasting time. Okay. They are wasting time. <laughs> Why? Because they are playing around, all right? They are playing around. Uh, sería así, miren, el, la acción que están haciendo no solo es playing, ¿ok? Así que agreguémosle ahí around. Ellas están jugando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Playing around. ¿Ok? They are playing around. Okay. Uh -huh. They are playing around. Claro que se puede decir perfectamente playing and it is okay. Pero ahora que ya saben que andar jugando, eh, ellas andan jugando, digamos, sería playing around. Okay. A ver, revísenme por ahí los audios, por favor. Pongámonos en silencio cuando toque participar. Abrimos el micrófono porque hay interferencia. Okay, so now we are going to our manuals, all right? And we are going to learn. Mm, we, um, okay, yes. No, vamos a aprovechar el tiempo antes de irnos para allá. Y vamos a ver un video, okay? We are going to watch a video about um, what people are wearing, all right? Please pay attention. Estaban viendo el video. ¿Verdad que no sale? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, Creo que porque muchas ventanas abiertas tenía. Vamos a ver ahora. Hello everyone, I'm Jamal Green, and we're talking to people today about clothes. It's fall here in New England, and it's a cool, sunny day today. What are people wearing? Let's find out. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Hello there. 
we're talking to people about clothes. Uh, what are you wearing today? I'm wearing a gray striped suit, brown tie, and black shoes. Is it a summer suit? No, it's for cool weather. It's good for the fall and spring. Very nice, very formal. Yes, I'm working today, so I'm wearing formal clothes. I see, I see. And this briefcase, is this yours? No, it's not mine. Oh, I'm so happy. This is my briefcase. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no problem. Thanks. Bye. This is my briefcase. It's new. Very nice. I like it. Thanks. Well, thank you for talking with us today. Sure, no problem. Bye-bye. Bye. Here's Megan and Jasmine. And you're wearing school uniforms, right? Yes. What is the uniform like for your school? My uniform is a tie, a white blouse, navy blue skirt, and white socks. And yours? White socks, a gray skirt, a white blouse, and a blue sweater. But you're not wearing it right now. That's right, but it's over there on the bench. Oh, oh okay. And these are your backpacks. Whose backpack is that? Is it yours? Yes, it is. The blue backpack is mine. And my backpack is yellow. Thanks, girls. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> and what is your name? I'm <laughs> Sheila. Hi, Sheila. And what is her name? This is Julie. Hi, Julie. So what are you wearing today? We're just wearing casual clothes. I have on boots and jeans, a blouse, a light jacket, and some sunglasses. And a very pretty purple scarf. Thank you. And what is Julie wearing? She's wearing blue pants, a white sweater, a pink hat. It's her favorite hat. That's a very pretty hat. Well, thank you both. Enjoy your day. Thank you, we will. Well, that's all the time we have. I'm Jamal Green, and I'm wearing a light blue shirt, black pants, and... Hey, where's my jacket? Oh, sorry, hey, excuse me. <laughs> So that's All actually right, my yeah, jacket. Yeah, Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right, thank you. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Aha. Uh -huh. Verdad que entendieron todito. You understood everything. Now, okay then, guys, what color was his jacket? Jamal's jacket. Beige. 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 It was beige. beige. Yes, it beige. was. It was beige. Aha. Uh -huh. And guys, what happened with that guy? Right? He was forgetting everything. He was out of his mind. <laughs> Ese muchacho sí que andaba super despistado, verdad? Uh, Les ha pasado algo así a ustedes? Yes. 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 A couple of times. A couple of times. All right. Okay, guys, describe the uniform, the school uniform of the girls. Mm -hmm. There were white. two. Mm -hmm. And shirt, a skirt. A skirt. Blue. Uh -huh. Okay, blue skirt. Blue skirt. Acordémonos de poner el color antes de decir la cosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, blue skirt, It's white more shirt. Dark, dark blue. White dark blue skirt. Exactly. Mm -hmm. White shoes. Okay. White shoes. Mm -hmm. And what about the socks? 
White socks. White socks. Uh, yes, white socks. And the baby, what was the baby wearing? Blue pants and white. Pink hat. I... Uh huh. Okay. A white mm -hmm. sweater. And white sweater. Okay, she is wearing her favorite hat. What color is that hat? Pink. 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 Yes, pink. All right, guys. Now, remember that when we want to express things that are happening in the same moment that we are speaking, we use present continuous and is compound by the pronoun, then the verb to be, and then the ing verb form. All right. Now, let's continue over here. Right, we have a short conversation that we want to practice because we want to see how to use the conjunctions. All right, how to use the conjunctions. But first of all, we are going to talk about the weather. Right, this is a short conversation. Ya la vieron ustedes en la plataforma, okay? Así que solo la vamos a leer y la vamos a hacer un role play ahorita, okay? Bien, aquí vamos. Mm -hmm. So it's very cold. Mm -hmm. What are they doing, guys? What are they doing? These two girls. The girls over there. Uh -huh. They're doing laundry? Yes, they are doing laundry. They are washing their clothes, right? Okay, then. Vamos a leer la conversación, okay? And then we are going to ask two of you to role play. And it says, Pat and Julie, right? I will read it first. Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. All right, let's listen to Marcelo and Eunice, please. Marcelo is Pat and Eunice is Julie. Okay. Okay. How? Okay. Oh, no. What's the merit? It is showing, uh, it is very cool. Are you wearing your clothes? No, they are half whole. Well, are you wearing your coat? But my coat is not warm. Uh, I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take, take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Excellent. All right. Vamos a pronunciar bien esta pregunta. Es, what's the matter? What's the what's matter? The matter? What's, what's the matter? What's the matter? Matter. 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 Esa ya la han oído un poco destrabada aquí en nuestro idioma, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> ok, se parece mucho la pronunciación. What's the matter? Ok, what's the matter? Uh -huh. Vaya, vamos a ver. La siguiente que vamos a ver, la pronunciación era... Uh, 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 uh. It's snowing. It's snowing. ¿Ven que termina una S acá y empieza una S aquí? Solo pronunciamos una, ¿ok? It's, it's snowing. snowing. Yes. It's snowing. Uh -huh. It's snowing. Yes. It's snowing. Linking words. Ahí estamos uniendo las palabras, así como cuando yeah. hablamos en español. So, it's snowing. It's no way. It's no way. All right. Vamos a escuchar. We are going to listen to Geraldina and Denise. Geraldina, Pat, Julie uh, will be Denise. Okay. Oh, no. What's the matter? Matter. Matter. It's snowing. Matter. It's snowing and it is very cold. Are you reading your gloves? No, they are home. Well, you're reading your 
coat. 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 But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Yuli. All right, very good. Very good. Now, guys, over here we have the present continuous statements. You see? Aquí tenemos cómo se, se dice en la forma afirmativa, cómo se dice en la forma negativa, lo que acabamos de ver. Pero lo importante acá es que aprendamos what conjunctions are. Entonces, dice por acá, it's snowing y tenemos and. Okay, and it's very cold. Those things, this is related to the first one, right? This is related to the first statement. Veamos acá, tenemos dos statements, ok, tenemos dos diferentes, ¿verdad? I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots, all right? I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. Boots are missing, right, for the cold weather. All right, then we use but, ok, but. But sería como pero, ¿verdad? Así se traduciría, all right. Vamos entonces a ver estas imágenes, these pictures, and we want to complete these um, uh, statements, all right? We are going to add and or but, okay? And or but. So let's look at the first one. The first one says, my name's Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. Mm -hmm. I am wearing. All right. I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. Voy a subir un poco esto, permiso. Permiso, mm -hmm. bajito. Okay. Ahora sí. I am wearing, wearing a gray high heels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y el to nos hace también, ¿verdad? To significa también. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Hmm. Perdón, que esto se me movió. A ver, lo que sigue. Uh, it's raining, but... I am not wearing... I'm not wearing... I'm not wearing a raincoat. All right. Mm -hmm. Wearing. Very good. Veamos la siguiente. It's hot today. Mm -hmm. Noriko. Toshi. Toshi and Noriko, Noriko are, are, wearing. Wearing. are wearing shorts. All right. Mm -hmm. It's and very it's sunny. It's very sunny. Mm -hmm. But they are not wearing They are not glasses. wearing sunglasses. All right, there you are. Okay, mm -hmm. vemos cómo es and y cómo es but, ¿verdad? Vaya, vamos a ver la siguiente. It says, feel, feel and catch, all right? Mm -hmm. Feel is it wearing? Mm -hmm. Feel is it wearing? wearing? It's wearing, it's wearing a suit today. Uh, today. Mm -hmm. He is wearing, wearing pants wearing. and jacket. He is wearing pants and jacket. Mm -hmm. He is wearing a brown shirt. He is wearing a brown shirt. Mm -hmm. He's not a tie. He's not wearing a tie. He's not wearing a tie. Okay. All right. Next one. It's cold today, yeah. but Cathy is not it's wearing a coat. Wearing. Not wearing a coat. Uh -huh. Wearing a coat. Mm -hmm. She? She is wearing a... She's wearing sweatshirt. With shirts, clothes. Mm -hmm. 
I switch your gloves and hat. She's not wearing. She is wearing not wearing boots. Boots. Mm -hmm. She's, She's wearing, wearing sneakers. sneakers. Right. Mm -hmm. She is wearing sneakers. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Just one moment. Okay, vamos a hacer este pequeño ejercicio. Okay. Este es un listening exercise. Así que vamos a escuchar y a contestar, all right? Este es sacado de la internet, all right? That's really interesting. All right. Sandra is describing the people at her party. Which person is she describing? Listen and write the correct letter, right? Listen and write the correct letter. Hmm. No se escucha nada. Tío. No se escucha. No. All right. Entonces, ¿saben qué vamos a hacer? Porque me va a tardar. Permítanme. Vamos, les voy a pasar el audio. Ok. Permítanme. Santo Dios. Permítanme. Se ha quedado trabado. Okay, les voy a enviar ahorita la oh. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. Cerré una ventana por equivocación. Ahorita voy, permítanme. Ok, yo creo que hoy sí va a sonar. Vamos a ver, a hacerlo aquí. Ok, vamos a ver. Ya ven, se queda cargando. ¿Ven ustedes ahí? Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces se traba un poquito, pero yes. vamos a ver. Hoy sí tiene que estar bien. Sandra is describing the people at her party. Which yes, person yes, yes, yes. is she describing? Listen and write the correct letter. One. Which one is David? David? There he is. He's wearing a jacket and tie, and he's got reddish blonde hair. Okay. Thanks. Two. I'm looking for Janet. Oh, she's wearing a long dress, and she's got glasses. Does she have long hair? No, it's not really long. Number 
Letter E. Letter, letter E. E. All right. Letter E. Letter E. Excellent. Uh -huh. Letter E. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue. Mm -hmm. I think I don't know the word. Three. Which one is Ron? He's wearing a dark suit and a tie and sneakers. Sneakers? Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Letter B. Letter B. Okay, with a suit and a tie and sneakers. All right. Mm -hmm. Four. I'm looking for Barbara. There she is, over there. She's wearing white pants and a red blouse. The one with the scarf? Yeah. Five. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Five. Who's Andy? He's wearing shorts and a t-shirt. He's got short blonde hair. Oh, I see him. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Letter, Letter D. D. Letter D. Six. I'm looking for Patty. Hmm. There she is. She's wearing a yellow skirt, a blue blouse, and red sandals. Thanks. Seven. Is Mary here tonight? Yes, she is. See her over there? She's wearing jeans and a green shirt. Jeans and a green shirt. Yes, and she's wearing a funny hat. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Eight. Where's Ken? Oh, the bodybuilder? He's here somewhere. He's wearing shorts and a tight shirt, as usual. Tight shirt? Yeah, he likes to show off his muscles. Little G. Little G. Little G. All right. There you are, guys. We did a good job. Now we know how to describe what people are wearing. All right. And remember, we are expressing everything using the present continuous. Luke is describing ing. Luke, ing. Dice, I am looking for, estoy buscando a, okay? Entonces, usamos el verbo to be con, en todas sus formas. Puede ser negativo, puede ser en pregunta, puedo contestar cortito, puedo contestar largo. All right. Ok, solo déjenme ubicar por favor la tarea que están teniendo problema. Era, alguien ya sabe el número de cuál es la que más tenía problema. Estaba en el WhatsApp, pero no lo, no lo puedo abrir. Punto así nomás. Punto cinco punto dos, sí creo que era. De activity. He's playing tennis. Yes. Okay. I just thought I can't get out of this. And what was the one that we had the most problem? Number A and number four. In number four, I put it as watching TV, but I don't want to take it. Ok, yeah. era con los sonidos, sí. ¿verdad? Ok. Sí. Uh -huh. uh, y el número 8, sí, shopping le puse, pero no me lo agarra tampoco. 
Uh, what's it? Okay, Mary. Uh huh. She's number eight. Uh, solo déjenme contar porque no las tengo numeradas. First sound, third sound, fourth sound. Ah, the eighth sound. It says, "What's Mary doing?" Right? Uh huh. ¿Cómo le puso en el octavo usted? She is shopping. Shopping? Shopping. Shopping. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien le puso alguna cosa diferente? A ver. Le puse buying. Le puse buying. Yo también le puse buying, pero... Buying. Pero el sonido que da no es de... O sea, porque se oye un clean, o, o por eso por eso es que le dieron ustedes, eh, permítanme. A ver, otra vez. Quiero escucharlo nuevamente para recordar. A ver. Okay, I think that's an office, all right? That's an office and someone is typing, all right? Typing, they are not buying, that's an office, all right? Yes, she's typing. Mire, mm -hmm. en la número cuatro yo le puse, she's watching TV. Y yo, una compañera sí lo tiene, pero tampoco no se lo agarra, no sé si no es eso. Watching TV y se me lo agarró. Ah, ok. Sí, sí. No importa si le pone apóstrofe, creo que sí se lo va a agarrar. Entonces tiene que ponerle she's watching. Si usted quiere ponerle television, póngale television, ¿verdad? Sí, le puse también nada. Eh, tal vez el punto del final es lo que le está faltando. What is the eight? The eighth sound is in an office. So uh, Mary or she is uh let me check typing typing, typing. Mm -hmm. number eight yes one second she's typing mm -hmm. okay hay alguna otra que tengan duda no yo solo es Ok, siempre acuérdense de ponerle mayúscula al inicio y punto final, ¿verdad? A la oración que vayan a poner. En algunos casos, solo hay que poner eh, lo que falta, no toda una oración. Entonces hay que probarlo, ¿verdad? De, de acuerdo a cómo usted lo percibe, ¿verdad? Y está bien que me pregunten, está bien que pregunten en el WhatsApp y que todos nos ayudemos, ¿ok? Thank you. Ok, guys. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Ok, then, guys. Uh, bueno, mañana tenemos clase, ¿verdad? Mañana sí va a haber clase. Mañana habrá clase. A ver, mañana es 14, ¿verdad? Sí, viernes. Ajá, repondríamos la clase de lunes. Exacto. Okay. Vamos a reponer la clase de lunes. Tiene que estar realizado mañana. Hasta, la, hasta el 50% de la unidad 5. Ya vamos casi finalizando, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se sienten? ¿Cómo vamos? Bien. Súper bien. Very good. All right. Tomar asistencia. Sí, voy a tomar la asistencia ahorita, correcto. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ajá, por abrir una cerré la otra. Ahí fue el detalle, miren. Ah, aquí estoy encontrando. Ok, hoy sí, hoy sí, por aquí vamos. Sí, sí, siempre tengo que tomar asistencia, siempre acuérdenme, por favor. 
Este, ¿Cómo vamos en la clase? ¿Cómo se sienten? ¿Alguna opinión? ¿Any opinion? No. Todo bien. Okay. Todo bien, Lee. All right. All right. Okay. Te explica muy bien. Ok, thank God you are doing ok with this class. All right, vamos a ver. Y esto se quedó trabada la lista otra vez. Oh, señor. <ríe> oh, Lord. Y ustedes están con la prisa de que ya nos tenemos que ir. Ajá, sí, teacher. Sí, we're hungry. All right. Ya casi, ya casi la destraba, permítanme. Por alguna razón está, bueno, tal vez en el teléfono sale más rápido. No, ahí va. Que las tengo siempre en una pestaña aparte, tanto la plataforma con, con, el, con la lista de asistencia para que no me dé ningún problema. Pero la cerré por querer abrir bien el, el sonido, ¿verdad? Para que no se me quedara trabada. Ahora sí, Miss, ya corregí lo de. Ya hoy sí. Ok. Sí, ya. Ok. Thank you. Ok, nice. Ya casi vamos. Ya casi vamos. Just. A minute, a minute. I really apologize, guys. I usually have everything ready. Ok, Alexandra Patricia Arevalo Reyes. Here. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides Martínez. Carlos Antonio Castro Torres. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Argumedo. Present teacher. Cristina Stephanie Ortiz Mancía. Present. Edwin Alexander Hércules Torres. Present teacher. Um, Eunice Abigail Rodríguez Rodríguez. Present teacher. All right. Okay. Isaura Belia Vázquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Jonathan Mauricio Aguilera Clímaco. Juan Marcelo Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Mariana Denise Monterrosa Portillo. Present. Marvin Alberto Aguiluz Martínez. Present. Mary, ok. Merin Daniela Carranza Valencia. Present teacher. Néstor Arnoldo Mendoza Larcón. Norma Elizabeth Lizano de Quinteros. Present. Okay. Jamilet Geraldina Martinez Garcia. Present teacher. All right. So here we go, guys. Thank you very much for your patience. And see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Do your homework. Bye bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye teacher. Bye. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, see you tomorrow. See you.